Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 and The Walking Dead in general, the franchise, uh, because we have a variety of topics to talk about today, uh, because over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of Walking Dead information coming out, and we got some information um, that I just wanted to combine into one video and talk about all of them in this one. Um, really interesting news though, uh, from the Rick Grimes movies to um, a Maggie spinoff and Season 10 finale reactions from people. Um, and yeah, just stuff that definitely gets us hyped up, I think, for the show. But uh, we're going to get into it uh, and talk about all of these topics one by one. Obviously, general spoiler warning in case you are not caught up with this show. Uh, and if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to subscribe because The Walking Dead is returning in just two weeks. And we're going to be having our you know daily videos, reviews, breakdowns, all that kind of stuff. Um, as well as for the new show, uh, The World Beyond, and then Fear of The Walking Dead as well. So pretty exciting stuff coming up. So if you are a fan of the show, be sure to subscribe. But with all that being said, let's get into it. So starting off with the season 10 finale, this is going to be just a quick um, little uh, discussion about the season 10 finale because uh, the first reviews came out. I'm sure you guys have already um, heard of them or read about them. Uh, but the thing that's going around is that this finale is really good. Um, I mean, at least the reviews that I was reading, um, this episode seems that people were really uh, liking this one. And uh, some people were even saying that it's one of the best finales in a long time. Now, not obviously, not everybody loved the episode. There are some people who pointed out, you know, certain things they didn't like about the episode. I'm not going to get into the details in this video because that's sort of, um, in a way, that for me, that counts as spoiler. So I'm not going to get into that. But just reading from tweets, and if you go, like, type into Google, like, The Walking Dead Season 10 finale, you can see a bunch of reviews from people like comicbook.com, Den of Geek, Forbes. So, um, you know, there's already reviews coming out for the Season 10 finale. But for the most part, I... I am seeing a lot of people enjoying this finale, which is great because um, I think this is, you know, you could argue this could possibly be like the most hyped finale of all time. For The Walking Dead, that is, let me be clear. Um, I don't want to, you know, obviously I'm not talking about other shows, but one of the most hyped finales for The Walking Dead. And I say the, and I say one of the most because anyone can really make an argument for that Negan finale, season six finale, because that was definitely hyped, you know. Um... You know, I mean, that was an insane finale, so I can definitely see an argument for that. And everyone has their own opinions and their own, um, you know, favorites. But the point is that this is, you know, a very hyped finale, I think, especially since it's, I mean, it's the last episode for the Whisper arc. And then also, especially that it got delayed for so long, people were just waiting. And um, after reading these reviews, I am glad that the episode uh, looks to be pretty good. Very excited for the episode. I made a, a little warning in my last video that since the episode has been released to critics and stuff like that, you have to be aware of spoilers. I don't know how, I don't know who releases spoilers. I don't know how it happens, but for some reason, I feel like there's somebody who somehow gets the episode early that just like po posts all the spoilers on the internet or something. But just be careful of spoilers out there. Um, I know I don't want to spoil for myself, and I want to ask you know the people watching the channel and people the people watching the video, uh, you know, just out of courtesy for those who don't want to spoil, don't put any spoilers in the comment section. Um, I mean, just think about it. You know, people have been waiting for this episode for a long time, so I don't think it's right to spoil it. But um, anyways, uh, like I was saying, it looks like this episode is gonna be. Pretty pretty good which i'm very excited for only two weeks away uh so yeah the next thing i want to talk about was something that andrew lincoln said uh during an interview recently about the ray grimes movies i didn't want to make a separate video just on this because it was a very quick comment but pretty cool so andrew lincoln had an interview with uh collider now i'm reading this off of comicbook.com but he had an interview with collider because right now he has a movie coming out or premiering at the toronto international film festival I'm very excited for this movie, actually. Um, it does sound interesting. Not only that, but um, I think it'll be pretty cool to see Andrew Lincoln and other stuff. I mean, I think he's a great actor, so it's cool seeing him have these bigger roles. And this is a movie with Naomi Watts. It's called uh, Penguin Bloom. Very excited for it. I don't know when it's going to come out or um, where it's going to come out, like if it's going to be a movie theater movie or streaming or what. I don't know any of that just yet. I don't think they even, I don't even think um, they know just yet just because uh, with everything going on. So once they announce it, um, you know, we'll find out, but I'm pretty excited. But anyways, uh, uh, they asked him about the Rick Grimes movies, and he told a funny story about um, somebody he ran into, like a fan, and that I want to go ahead and read his quote real quick. 
So Andrew Lincoln said, uh, and I, I saw this guy and he looked up and I knew he recognized me. I didn't have a hat on. I was just in, the, in a wetsuit and I was with my son and this dude, he clocked me, Lincoln told Collider. I was like, ah, here we go. It was the coolest thing. He walks up, he saw I was with my son and he walked past me. I thought, oh, maybe he doesn't know me. All I heard was come back, Rick. It was so moving, he continued. I turned around and I just went, we're working on it. So that's my answer to you. We're working on it. All right, that's such a great story. I, I mean, reading that made me, you know, smile and laugh because, like, just imagine uh, that's such a like kind of funny situation where somebody uh, recognizes him but doesn't say anything to him, walks past him, and says, "Come back, Rick." Um, and I, that's so funny how we turned around and he said that we're working on it. So again, it's not that you know big of a deal to make like a separate video on it but i just wanted to include it in this one um but i think it's really nice hearing him talk about it saying that we're working on it um you know to see that he's still involved in it i'm sure that he's you know involved in it creatively as well um but yeah it, with the walking dead movies i think they're really expect the rick grimes movies that is i think they're getting um you know into it uh pretty soon um as soon as i think things get better that's what they were talking about when during one of these panels they had a couple months ago um but obviously they can't film because of the pandemic and i think right now like um timeline wise when they announced the movie back in 2018 like it's almost been two years since they announced that movie how insane is that that's like crazy it was it's been two years um and I think, like, t again, timeline-wise, it makes sense for them to have to be ready to film by now. But obviously, they can't because of the pandemic. So um, it's pretty cool seeing that they are going to be working on it pretty soon. Um, as far as release dates and stuff like that, we don't know just yet. But I feel like if they're going to start filming... You know, uh, I mean, I would probably say 2021 is we're going to start filming. I can definitely see this movie coming out in like 2022, especially now that we see that uh, um, the TV show is ending in 2022. I think it fits in well. Um, also, the world beyond has a connection with the Rick Grimes movies, I'm sure. Um, so because of that, you know, that also is probably going to be in 2022, the second season of the world beyond. So all things are looking at this for being in 2022, like probably late 2022. Um, but I just quickly wanted to share this little thing. You know, I think it's pretty cool hearing Andrew Lincoln talk about The Walking Dead. But the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Maggie and a Maggie spinoff that was uh, talked about by Lauren Cohan. All right. So she was on live. Lauren Cohan. She was on live with Kelly and Ryan. Um, and this is what she had to say about the season uh, or like the series finale and then moving forward. She said, we still have two year, two past years worth of stuff to shoot. So we're still going uh, to be on television for a significant period Cohan said of a two-year 24 episode final season to conclude in late 2022 we're so lucky we've been going so long and it's so exciting to say okay let's all key in for this final season and watch it together and then people are so hungry for our universe whole universe still but it's sort of exciting because there will be a, sp a spin-off possibility she added I don't know if I'm supposed to say that yet. So I think when she said this, people were assuming a Maggie spinoff because she added the I don't know if I'm supposed to say that yet because I guess people were sort of thinking that if she's, she's not sure if she can say that, it's probably referring to a Maggie spinoff because uh, AMC have already, you know, released spinoff um, announcements. You know, they just released the announcement that Maggie, or excuse me, um, uh, Carol and uh, Daryl are going to be getting a spinoff, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think it'll be pretty cool if we do see what happened to Maggie in the meantime. Uh, while she was gone, you know, because she was gone for a long time. And that might be answered in the six upcoming episodes, the six extra episodes we're getting for season 10, which I'm still curious to see what those are going to be about. I, I am, sh I think they might go back and film new stuff. So we might have, um, you know, Maggie information there. But I do think a Maggie spinoff could work. And it's going to be interesting to see how they do this because there's still like a significant amount of characters left on this show. You know, like we know we're getting a Daryl and Carol spinoff, but... What's going to happen to characters like Maggie and Negan and Ezekiel and Judith and RJ? You know, like what's going to happen to them? Michonne. I mean, we know Michonne left. She's probably going to be in the movies. But there's still a lot of characters left um, on the Walking Dead universe. Now, what I don't think you're going to do, I don't think you're going to make a bunch of spinoffs for each and every single character because that would make that would just be weird because people will be like, why didn't you just end the show? Why did you end the show if you're going to make a spinoff for every character? But let me know what you guys think about a Maggie spinoff. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about a Maggie spinoff. Here's what I say. I would love to see what would what happened um, 
to Maggie um, while she was gone. So technically, I guess that is a spinoff. So yes, I would do, I would like to see a spinoff. I guess, um, but I don't know if I don't know if only Daryl and Carol are gonna be continuing their um, their journey after the show ends, or is other characters also gonna be continuing their journey? I mean. I definitely think that eventually they're going to talk about it, you know, maybe not right away, but they'll probably, maybe they'll do like spinoff by spinoff, um, like Daryl and Carol got a spinoff, um, or Daryl and Carol are going to get a spinoff right away, but the other characters are going to happen, you know, later, like the same thing kind of happened in the comics, um, because the comics ended and then like a year later, Robert Kirkman released like a Negan spinoff. So they don't have to do spinoffs right away, but I think eventually it could happen. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Would you like to see a Maggie spinoff? And if you do want to see a Maggie spinoff, what do you think it'll be about? I, I do know I want to see him what happened to her while she was gone that's for sure so you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below about this maggie spinoff and let me know what you think about all of the information we got today uh the rick grimes stuff season 10 finale and the maggie spinoff um as far as this video goes i am gonna wrap it up there so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating again let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below and if you are a fan of the walking dead be sure to subscribe because again the walking dead is returning in about two weeks we're gonna have a lot of information uh so be sure to subscribe if you are a fan of the show but again i'm gonna wrap it up up there thank you guys for watching the video uh please stay safe and i'll see you guys soon